here in Pam at Jim Ellish's house and I've done a lot of uh, work over the years here. This is the library of uh, Jim and Pam Ellish and um, this is one of the things I, I did was the um, staining of the windows, all the window frames and the uh, archways that came into this room. The library was designed by the architect that drew up this house. The builder of the library was somebody else, but not the builder that built the rest of the house. They didn't do the windows because they couldn't do the windows. The windows came in from a window manufacturer, and all the window frames were in the raw wood. So Phil had to come in and stain the windows and stain the arches that were all also raw mahogany. I had to match the stain that is existing around this room right now. The wallpaper in this house is very special. We actually went to Paris and London to buy the wallpaper. We wound up buying it in, uh, in London from the Zuber store and having it shipped here. The wallpaper in the dining room was done in the 30s from wood blocks that were done and uh, created in the, 17th, in the early 18th century and they're still printing on these wood blocks today. Phil had to restore a lot of it because some of it were outside walls and there was some damage. And if you take a look at it, he had to glue back carefully some of the wallpaper that pulled off the walls over time and take puckers out and do, it's very difficult to work with. Then we decided to use Zubair wallpaper here in the hallway and in the bathroom, which again was Phil's idea because he said, we have extra wallpaper, how about using it in the bathroom? There was some leftover paper and we decided to uh, hang it in the powder room. And I did a specialty finish in the, on the walls to kind of blend it to soften it up to make it look really nice. It was very uh, nerve wracking because um, it, the paper was so sensitive that outside corners could crack if you handled it too much or if moisture got on it it could uh, melt the uh, actual print. You have to line it up right, you have to use the right kind of glues, uh, not typical wallpaper. When I was first um, shown the paper, I was very uh, surprised that uh, Jim put so much uh, confidence in me because of the nature of the wallpaper. It was a custom hand-blocked wallpaper that was made from gouache, which is a water-based uh, ink you needed to make sure the paper relaxed a lot. That's the key to good wallpaper hanging, is you gotta make sure that the paste is saturated into the backing so um, you can uh, work with it. You wanna find somebody that knows that it's not just wallpaper, that it has to be done right. And I believe he did some research to find out, he even called him if I remember, to find out what kind of glue to use because there are only a few people in this country that know how to lay Zubair wallpaper down properly. The fireplace, which is um, in the living room, was heavily painted so much that all of the detail was taken out of it. They wanted to replace it, and I said, well, let's see if we can first strip it. So um, I used a, a clay-based stripping technique, which required um, a packing on this clay-based stripper and then putting paper over the top of it. The end result was a beautiful uh, fireplace. All the paint was stripped off and um, it's held up for over, now it's been almost 12 years now and held up really well. Well, my wife and I are both artists. We're very quality conscious and we don't trust a lot of people to do a good job. And Phil has proved that he does a great job. He understood the intricacies of a house like this. And it required a lot of restoration and um, new building. I mean, this home is twice the size that it originally was. But what I like most about it is the um, idea of being a part, first of all, a part of someone's actual idea or dream 
and to uh, actually um, be challenged. I mean, I think those are one of the things is the challenging part to accomplish something that uh, isn't uh, the norm. Thank you.